So further to yesterday's class, I hope you have practiced it. So in today's session, we are going to discuss about animations, the practical part. So animation, as I already discussed, um, what we are supposed to do is, see, when you wanted to move a shape or an object on a canvas, first we clear the canvas, save the canvas state, dry animated state shape, and again restore back. See, for example, here first. My, I want my object from starting to ending. So, what it, what we should do is we should draw many times and clear the canvas every time to give the user a feeling that it is moving. But ideally, it doesn't move. What it, what we do is we move the object at you know regular intervals of time. Say. From starting of the monitor to the ending of the screen, you want it to move. So you will change the location from year to year. But every time you do it, you clear the canvas in so fast way that user cannot even identify. You know, it gets a feeling that it is moving. So ideally, yeah, this is what we should do: clear it, save the state, again draw the animated shape, again restore back. So what we should do before we draw a new frame. We should call the original state. Clear the canvas, save the canvas, draw the shape again, restore the original, old one. So, and then four methods are available: set interval, set time, so set timeout, and request animation frame. Okay, so set timeout and set interval. Works for delaying the action for specified amount of time. Request animation frame. So, for example, your rectangle is at 10, 10. It should come to 10, 20. So, before it comes, you will you will request back the original state. Okay. So, we ideally we use with Windows window dot request animation frame. Request the browser call to a specified function before the next animation repaint. So let us see the example. So my first example that I would like to discuss is moving a rectangle here from here to here. I want to move a rectangle. So I'll explain step by step.
okay so what are the steps first is clear the canvas save the canvas state draw the animated shapes and restore the canvas state so what is the method to restore the and so old state request animation frame on my window object so let us take this example let us take this method and i'll explain you step by step Okay, so how it works is for very simple. Okay, so for example, you want to move object from here to here. Okay, so the object doesn't move. So first, you place the object here. So before you go here, you clear this part. you clear entire you again you will make it a white screen and then you will place the object here and again before it comes here again you will request the animation frame animation frame is nothing but my canvas you clear everything and again go back and again if you want object comes here before it goes to the next step you clear everything and go here okay so two things one is uh, drawing your shape and uh, moving this animation You got my point. How this animation works? Hello. Okay, now if you see, first I am calling my animation function. Okay, so what I will do in the animation function? Nothing. I will just clear the screen again. I will draw it. I will clear. I will clear. See, I when my article is here, I will. Okay, I am here. Now before I do what I will do, so I will clear it and again. move it here again i'll clear it i'll move it here i'll clear it i'll move it here i'll clear it i move it here okay so what is how do you clear nothing i'll just request my animation frame to original state okay so if you see here window dot webkit request animation frame okay so this is for chrome this is for mozilla this is for internet explorer this is for safari opera
okay so the reason i'm keeping is uh, see my single format is not sufficient for all the browsers so during your javascript code every time whenever you are calling objects you should mention four things okay more add just moj before it it is mozilla webkit it is chrome and safari ms it is uh, internet explorer o is opera so the reason i am calling four is to ensure that all the browsers are working okay so now request animation frame of animate so what happens here is so here i am requesting my animation frame so before i do my next thing that is draw function again i'll call my animate frame so request animate frame of animate what happens it clears everything okay x equal to speed plus 5 so what happens in it moves in 5 pixels so why 475 my canvas width is 500 so it, till end it will okay so if for each 5 pixels it moves and once it reaches 475 what happens it again goes back to zero again it starts it so starts back so my speed okay i don't know whether you are understanding so <coughs> so here 1 2 3 4 5 pixels okay it comes from here 5 pixels it moves till here when it reaches 4 and we die and x speed equal to minus speed so what happens my x value will come back again to back position one so this level minus puts minus 5 pixels to comes comes back okay okay so uh, what is that speed is equal to minus speed see from here from here to here okay so it moves x equal to x direction okay x equal to it moves from here to here so once it moves here i am clearing it i am drawing it i am clearing it i am drawing it it comes here okay so once it reaches here what happens my find it 475 is the width okay it it, it happened now it should come back right so speed equal to minus speed so every five So now it comes back. Minus speed means minus five, minus five, minus five. It comes back. Okay. Okay. So now draw. Draw is the function where you are actually going to draw it using my fill rectangle. I will take a rectangle. Okay. Now.
okay guys can you just give me one minute okay, i'll just uh, take water and come okay just meanwhile look at that
I'm sorry. So, till now you are clear, no? So, I am ca calling a new frame. Okay. And then moving X coordinate for a moment and I am drawing it. So, again, after my draw, again I call the new animation frame. So what I am drawing here, my rectangle. So here you can observe a new rectangle, clear rectangle, a new method. Okay. So fill style is whatever the color. Now fill rectangle, X, Y I am giving. Y as in what? Y as in 15, X as in, for every time it is moving, right? X equal to plus equal to speed. So once it reaches and speed equal to minus speed, it comes back. So let us see how this is executing. Can you observe this? <coughs> okay, first, first I am clearing the screen. Increasing the, you know, moving the X. Y is fixed, right? So 15. On the top distance between this is 15. And X is moving. I am increasing X by 5, 5, 5. So for each 5 pixel it moves. So from here to here it moves. Again the screen is cleared. Again the draw function is called. Again it draws here. It draws here. Comes back and speed equal to minus speed. So it is just drawing at multiple places consequently, but what happens is we are showing it in the form of an This example you should be clear, so you will be able to do anything. Yeah. What is clear rect method? What is it? Uh, clear me. rectangle method is that like? So the same thing. So now. It is moving from here to here, right? After it moves, it should disappear. Yeah. Okay. Again, I draw again, you think. Okay. okay. If, you, if you want it vertically, what happens is, uh, let's keep X fixed. Make Y as X. Variable as Y. So,
So look at the code. Ask me if you have any questions. I'm keeping it like this. Just have a look at the code and then ask me if you have any questions. So this is a very core example, which is very important. You can use this for anything, images or anything.
clear <coughs> hello guys yeah hello yeah everything is clear clear so i will go with my another example okay so moving pattern so this is my pattern okay so i wanted to move this in a circular fashion so for example this is my circle i wanted to move this in a circular fashion continuously and to form a circle so with this pattern i wanted to form a large circle and it should move like this that is my example <clears throat> how to achieve that okay so now how to first draw the shape so what is your <clears throat> method for drawing an image we have already discussed right in the last class how to add an image window dot download what a document where image is equal to document dot get element by id of image context dot draw image image path comma x comma y okay or you can also use con context dot draw image image path comma x comma y height and width x y height and width right so now if you want an image to be moving from here to here okay like this in a circular fashion so what should you do you should draw image in a way that my x and y coordinates will change it to a circular fashion okay so I'll check this line so good Hello, can you hear me and can you see my screen? Yeah. Okay. Then. So, <clears throat> fill style. So I am giving some color. Okay. 
then stroke style i am assigning some color now what you should do i i told you right so save the state draw the image and restore the canvas state so canvas dot save so uh, given the colors and uh, save the state okay so what should you do first clear the canvas save the state draw the image and restore the state okay so now how to draw the image sorry yeah so context dot rotate off two pi by six just a random value okay so there is nothing no formula here okay time got get seconds plus two pi by six thousand to get milliseconds draw image restore it okay draw image restore it so again my animate function is called so how many times for every 100 milliseconds so which means for every 100 milliseconds my draw shape function is called so what it does draw shape takes the canvas draw the image pattern minus 3.5 minus 3.5 see for example if it is here from this current place it should give a circular direction so image name x and y so again you restore the canvas it comes back for every 100 milliseconds it, it goes back
can you observe the animation that is created Why is the image not getting cleared? We are not uh, calling the windows, right? This method. We are not calling okay. the request animation frame callback. Okay. So when you request animation frame callback, it will clear the canvas before your next repaint. Okay. Okay, any questions till this part? <clears throat> okay, see, but you know, down the line uh, we discuss uh, transitions and transformations. There are a lot more animations that are going to come. Okay, so this is only pure uh, JavaScript and Canvas. So when we add CSS3, there are other more, lot more uh, concepts like transformations and transitions where it will give you, you know, excellent effects with just one line of code. Okay, so we will discuss this example now. So park, this is my park. Okay, so this image is definitely large, very large size image. So you cannot keep so much image, okay? So I wanted to show the entire image to the user. So I only have this much space. My canvas size is this much. I have to move the image and show the user just like this so my image is <coughs> moving in the canvas from starting to ending and once the canvas end is reached it again starts back so this is how a moving image animation so let us uh, let me show you how this is going to work
okay so width of the canvas is 200 maybe width of the canvas is 200 and then uh, this is not less than 800 right width Ten twenty four width. Okay, so this will not fit in the two hundred pixels canvas. So what it should do? It should move. So, my canvas size is 200 pixels. So, I should move this entire portion of image through my canvas. So, what, how I should do, ideally, how I should do, 
you should show the one portion of image at a time say first image you will clip you know for the width of 200 pixels you will show it for the first moment and then once the end of the canvas is reached you will actually clip the next set of image so that is what I am doing here so image uh, you already seen right how to work with an image how you will do window dot download of function of you get the image and draw the image so window dot on load of image dot download of function of so image height and image width if image width is greater than canvas width <coughs> then what you should do the portion of x i wanted is canvas size minus the image width the same way for uh, height if the image height is more than canvas height then height of the canvas minus the image height so here what I am setting is if my image size is this much and my canvas size my canvas size is this much my image size is till here what I am doing is image minus canvas whatever is the specified size that you are getting that I am going to make as my new coordinates so now once you've done that set interval draw comma speed so draw this particular function draw will draw the image clipping part whatever the new sizes and speed is 30 milliseconds so for the every 30 milliseconds this particular function is called okay so now how to draw image context draw to draw image of image x comma y comma image width and image height okay so only that particular width is taken okay so if image width how we are going to how we are going to calculate the image width image width minus canvas width okay so whatever you are going to do that is going to be my new image width so that's what we have uh, discussed right in the first thing same as for the height so it draws the image x y as the new coordinates so zero is it total image size is 800 so canvas is 100 okay so first x and y would be zero zero second instance after 30 milliseconds x and y would be what 100 100 no no zero hundred the later 0 200 0 300 0 400 so on the image width will be say so yeah, width of the image is 800 first is 0 200 so next is 0 uh, 100 to 200 so that way each part is clipped for every 30 milliseconds and it is taken so let us simply execute this maybe to be more clear we will increase the canvas size
Any questions till this part? Okay. So there is another example called clock. Okay. So this is a typical JavaScript with this canvas. This is a from w3schools.com. Okay, I, I I wanted you to review this. Uh, okay, before we, uh, we, I'll just show you how it is, how it looks. You I, you can follow these steps and. Uh, So this is my clock. Okay, so just go through the code and then uh, analyze it. This, you know, it's in w3schools.com. You can also go through it. There is clear steps mentioned inside it. Um, you can search for clock. Okay, you can search for. Uh, I'll send you the link. Okay, it has detailed steps. So just go through it and read it. You will get much better understanding of what we discussed. Okay. Okay, so you just follow these entire steps, go through it. So this is an aggregated code of I'm sending you in the chart window. So whatever is aggregated code, okay, you, you I, I'll send you this code also aggregated code, and then uh, you uh, read the W3 skills explanation. So creating a clock, drawing the clock face, drawing clock numbers drying clock hands and then running the clock five steps it is explained so this is how it is this would be slightly different maybe you know in terms to colors and then except everything is same i'll send you those this code also but go through this w3 schools thing it has very clear explanation for beginners to you know go through it and understand okay and then you follow these three examples but what i'm saying is this is slightly complex, but in the future, uh, use when you are using transitions and transformations, the animations are quite very, very easy. Uh, the canvas, whatever we are discussing is at least typical, but you know, you may not use these things um, uh, very often, but transformation, transitions, the way how it affects are their fade effects, etc. They are very nice and much easier. Okay, so for example, I will show you on, uh, okay. 
it's okay so i will see when it comes okay now so i request you to you know go through the three examples that we mentioned in the class and then uh, you see this only logic what the whatever moving rectangle example we discussed that is the core of entire animation so based on that you should build the logic so you for you just go through all the three examples and then this examples in w3schools.com okay so first example if you are understanding very clearly you know we can build many things on that okay down the line so this is about animations uh, in canvas using javascript any questions you have okay sure so i'll send you this code snippets and you please follow it and uh, go through it okay thank you and have a good day We'll meet you tomorrow.